Well, thank you very much. And, uh, you know, it hasn't been all that long ago when the TikTok CEO was here on Capitol Hill. He was meeting with all of us in uh, our offices. And I asked a really simple question at that time. Does ByteDance employees in China be able to access this information from American users with TikTok? Didn't get an answer. So when we had the committee here in Energy and Commerce, I asked the same question. Last year, I asked him again, do ByteDance employees in China, including its engineers, have access to American user data? Admitted in front of our committee that, yes, the, Communist China, the Chinese Communist Party has access to our user data. So this is, as you've already heard, this is a wake-up call and should alarm every single American whether they're actively engaged in, on TikTok or not. In the months since this hearing, we've been doing our due diligence to gather the information and fully understand the national security risk posed by ByteDance. And it's become clear from the classified briefings we've had, including witness testimonies, that TikTok presents a clear and present danger to our national security and to all American users on this app. And I'm proud to stand with my colleagues today both Republicans and Democrats unveil our efforts to keep Americans safe from adversaries like Communist China. I'd also like to thank the chair and ranking member of the Select Committee on the CCP for their leadership on this. But let me again reiterate, this bill that we have before us and we've introduced is very simple. It incentivizes divestment of TikTok from the Chinese Communist Party or TikTok will be prohibited here in the United States. It also establishes a narrow framework to protect the United States against future apps controlled by foreign adversaries, which is uh, clearly spelled out in the bill, uh, over co covered companies, which is an important step to protect Americans and our national security. And I'm looking forward to bringing this bill forward in a markup on the Energy and Commerce Committee, which we're going to have on Thursday, so we can get this passed and sent to the floor for a vote for the House of Representatives. Thank you very much. Okay.